Alright, I think we are back in the very last stretch of the game. Okay, so Dan has four clues I need to be found. Two hours. We'd have to move. How long is the drive? Two hours. We'd have to move. My head is killing me, but I wrapped the apartment scene last night. It pretty much wrote itself, or at least the first draft did. It came in sloppy, but the revisions this morning were great. I stripped the dialogue down. It's mean as nails now, not a word wasted. Whatever happens, I can at least hang my hat on that scene. This could be it. An associate professorship at Hardesty? It's entry level, sure, but everyone has to start somewhere, and it's the perfect situation for writing. The sabbatical program alone makes the job worth it, and the thought of actually working with Professor May? I guess I'd be calling him Philip now. That'll take some getting used to. But moving's a big step. I can't imagine a new school with no kids would be easy for Tommy. I know staying in Laurenton would be better for him and Linda, but they aren't handing out professorships on the corner. This isn't the kind of offer you pass up without a very good reason. But I might have two good reasons. I tried to sleep on it last night. What a joke. You have to be able to sleep for that to work. Uh. All right, let's explore her memories. I could even go full time if I could even go full time if you can say it. If I got a real job, I finally got through to Dan, or at least a little. He said I was nagging. Okay, yeah. days when I thought this moment would never come. When I finish writing this, I'm going to pack everything up and drop the manuscript in the mail. My palms are sweating just thinking about letting it go. I had no idea how hard it would be to finish this one. I took everything I had, and it's hard to look back over the summer without laughing. To think the plan was to get away from everything and just focus on the book. But you can't get away from yourself. Life doesn't give a damn about geography. I don't know when you'll get this or where we'll be when you do, or what you'll think. I know what I think, but objectivity left the building months ago. Some days I think this is the one. Other days I have a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach that says my career is over. Just drop the envelope in the mail. I like how he's going, cool, and then he freaks out. Okay, so I've scared the crap out of Tommy. Oh 
Okay, I think that's it with Linda. I just talked things over okay, with Dave, we and we really have some serious thinking to do. <clears throat> the job at Hardesty sounds like a great opportunity for him, but moving would be so hard on us. I really want to join Art for All, and after everything we've been through with Tommy, it would be better for him to have some stability. I could even go full-time if Dan found a steady job, though I know he can't do that if he takes on extra tutoring with Tommy, and I never fault him for that. If we stay in Warrington and Dan works with Tommy, I could still do the program part-time. Either way, it'd be better for Tommy and me than moving. But I know that. I just talked things over. Full-time application. All right. There we go, and now I need to find and select Linda's second painting. my question where the hell is it it's kind of be helpful to know over the decision, but in the end, he couldn't pass up the opportunity to take a professorship. A job with a steady paycheck that revolved around his craft gave him hope that he would, that writing could finally become his future. He could devote his professional life to it and not be a total failure at life. Tommy didn't handle the relocation well. His first year of school had been hard enough, but being a stranger on the first day of the new year surrounded him by children who already knew each other was even harder. While Linda understood why Dan had accepted the position at Hardesty, did nothing to ease her disappointment over leading Lawrenton. Blairstown had no programs like Art for All. But she refused to give up on her painting, and she put on a successful gallery in November. Her only regret was feeling that she had to do it on her own or some crap like that. And that's how the Kaplan's summer in the house on the cliff came to an end. It's much more than just a sink season on the coast. Dan's choices there would definitely define the rest of his life. Paul was floored when he got Dan's final draft. Grofield literally stopped the presses on the other books to meet demand for Dan's. In November, he won the National Book Award. His career took off, and after almost a dozen more novels, he retired as one of the most respected authors in American literature. By the end of the summer, Dan and Linda were in a happier place, and their relationship had grown solid. Dan had proven his commitment with his actions. The lessons they had learned that summer served them well. As they grew old, they looked back fondly on that summer, always seeing it as the time their love took root for good. But by the time Tommy went back to school, he was a wreck. His self-confidence was gone, his reading was even further behind than the previous year, and he was bullied mercilessly. 
withdrew from his father, knowing that Dan would never be a source of support for him, and remained a loner throughout high school. By his early 20s, he was bouncing from one dead-end job to another. Dan would look back on that summer from time to time and wonder why he had made the choices he had. Never quite shook the feeling that the voice in his head had been more than just a voice. And in quiet moments, he imagined that he had been a character in someone else's novel. At times, he was almost sure of it. Okay. This was a really good game. Really deep. The decisions weren't as hard to make as I had uh, thought they would be. They were still pretty hard, though. <laughs> Playtesters. Without their honest and insightful feedback, this game would have been in incalculably worse. The Novelist. Very good game, available on Steam for only so much money. I think it's like 20 bucks, but I got it on sale, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Winner 100 playing The Novelist. I shall see you guys in my next Let's Play, whatever that may be. Thank you all for watching.